Mm-hmm. <clears throat> of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves today to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you sit at the right hand of the Father where you intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, 
and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, hope and light of the sincere, we humbly entreat you to dispose our hearts to offer you worthy prayer and ever to extol you by dutiful proclamation of your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. A Pharisee in the Sanhedrin named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law, respected by all people, stood up, ordered the apostles to be put aside for, the short, for a short time, and said to the Sanhedrin, Fellow children of Israel, be careful what you are about to do to these men. Some time ago, Theodos appeared, claiming to be someone important, and about 400 men joined him, but he was killed, and all those who were loyal to him were disbanded and came to nothing. After him came Judas, the Galilean at the time of the census. He also drew people after him, but he too perished, and all who were loyal to him were scattered. Now I tell you, have nothing to do with these men and let them go. For if this endeavor or this activity is of human origin, it will destroy itself. But if it comes from God, you will not be able to destroy them. You may even find yourselves fighting against God. They were persuaded by him. After recalling the apostles, they had them flogged, ordered, and to stop speaking in the name of Jesus Jesus, and dismissed them. So they left the the presence of the Sanhedrin, rejoicing that they had been found worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of the name. And all day long, both at the temple and in their homes, they did not stop teaching and proclaiming the Christ Jesus, the word of the Lord.
shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee. A large crowd followed him because they saw the signs he was performing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain, and there he sat down with his disciples. The Jewish feast of Passover was near. When Jesus raised his eyes and saw that a large crowd was coming to him, he said to Philip, where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him, because he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, 200 days wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. One of the disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, said to him, there is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fishes. But what good are, they, are these for so many? Jesus said, Have the people recline. Now there was a great deal of grass in that place, so the men reclined, about 5,000 in number. Then Jesus took the loaves and gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much of the fish as they wanted. When they had their fill, he said to his disciples, Gather the fragments left over, so that nothing will be wasted. So they collected them and filled twelve wicker baskets with fragments from the, f from the five barley loaves that had been more than they could eat. When the people saw the sign he had done, they said, This is truly the prophet, the one who is to come into the world. Since Jesus knew that they were going to come and carry him off to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain alone. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Morning, everyone. One of the experts say, Two of the first lessons we learn when we're very young, even younger than you are now, is the first one, we know we learn the difference between yes and no. Our parents teach us that. 
When you go to do something, your, parent prob your parents probably said yes, or they said no. The second lesson that we probably learned at a very young age is to share. How many of your parents ever told you to share with your brothers and sisters? Exactly. And if, you didn't ha if you're an only child, you were probably told to share something at some point in, in, along, along the way of growing up. So, yes and no, first lesson. Sharing is the second lesson. Today we see in the gospel that Jesus performed a miracle. He had all these people to feed, and he only had a couple fish and a couple barley loaves. Now, before we get into explaining or how I want to present it, back in the day where these people lived, most people, when they got up, they set out to the marketplace of their village for whatever. Either they went to work, they went to buy things or whatever. But mostly everyone carried a little sash along the side, and in that sash was maybe a couple dried fish and a couple pieces of bread, barley loaves. So they all carried that with them for the day, because when they left, they were there all day, and they came back in the evening. So they needed something to eat. So most people carried something to eat for the day. Back in, let's get back to the story. Jesus has all these people in front of him, and he's just got done doing so many things for them, healing the sick, telling them what the kingdom of God is like, which was most of his preaching. And they were just so moved by what he did, and they were so moved by what he said that they were ready to make him the king. Now, the miracle. It's time to eat. There's not enough food. What does Jesus do? Does he go hocus pocus and take five to make 5,000? Does, it, 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 does, he, does he take the fish and go hocus pocus and double that and double that and double that? Not that he can't. I'm not going to tell Jesus he can't do anything. But just a deeper insight into what happened that day. How did they get 12 fragments left over, 12 baskets of, of food left over? I'd like to suggest that whatever Jesus did, whatever he did that day, whatever he said that day, he moved the hearts of all those people that they shared. When he start passing what that little boy had, notice he has a little boy carrying the stuff and starting the sharing. Little people starting the sharing. Once he saw that, he got that, he got that whole motion going. And so when people started to take the bread in there, well, I have some. I have two. I'll give one to you. And it just happened. And it the sharing started. Now think about this. People, the most hardened of hearts, people who are so selfish and self-centered, started to share. That's the miracle. That that's what Jesus can do for us. He can take our little blemishes and our, and our little idiosyncrasies and he can develop what he needs to develop within us if we let him. So the miracle was that people who normally don't share, shared that day. And in that sharing, everyone had their fill. Everybody went and got everything they needed for the day. So my dear friends, those two lessons we've learned, and those lessons we carry on to our adulthood and even to the end, the end of our own personal lives. The difference between yes and no and sharing. May we always keep those two in, in our lives to know when we apply each lesson. Okay, it's Friday. 
You guys have a great day. Thank you. Please join in singing our offertory hymn, number 397, This Alone, 397. Pray now, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted by God, the Almighty Father. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care, they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord, amen. amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just 
our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. <clears throat> we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, 
therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. For Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, George, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he, who is united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And now at the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours. Now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And may the body of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Blood of Christ. Amen. <clears throat> Please join in singing our communion hymn, number 307, Come to the Feast, 307. Body of Christ. The Body of Christ.
Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. Have a great day, boys and girls. Please join in singing our recessional hymn, number 450, Amazing Grace, 450.